Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Inside Out Electronics. So today we're gonna talk how to make very simple camera remote control for your Android phone. So everyone knows that you can use your headset in order to control your camera just like that. So up and down volume, I'm gonna take picture, click and click. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna have uh, beautiful pictures of my background over here. So, but yeah, there are, there are situations when you need either a longer wire or you don't have your wired headset and things like that. Yes, you can use Bluetooth remote control, which is essentially does the same volume up and down, trigger your camera, um, camera shutter. But I can show you how to make it very cheap and you can use it in any other scenario or just keep, and keep just as dedicated camera remote control for your everyday use scenarios. Alright, so what do we need for that? So in order to make very simple and cheap camera remote control for Android phone, you need shitty and cheap headset. 470 ohm resistor, well, and preferably have soldering iron. So if you have all those things and uh, you know how to solder and poke around, yes, you can do it yourself very, very easy. Alright. But before we actually do something, let's talk about theory. theory. Okay, here we are. This is a little. So this is a little photo. This is exactly from taken as is from Google website. So what we have here. This is essentially a schematic of a headset with two speakers, one microphone, and four buttons. In our particular case, we need only two buttons. There's going to be button A, B, and button C, which is corresponding to volume up and volume down so um, technically don't care we don't care about this we don't even care about this what we care about is we care about microphone R R2 and R R3 well technically because we can use just a volume for example up we care only let's say about R3 and um, uh, resistance which is um, going to be uh, expected by the phone over this left right ground and microphone three three and a half millimeter jack this is the three and a half millimeter jack this is what it should expect but essentially it's going to be a voltage drop which corresponds to this um, uh, corresponds to value of this resistor. In our particular case microphone will be removed so because resistance of microphone would be infinite we will expect resistance of R3 uh, of two, uh, 470 ohms. So what we do we remove this, we remove that, we solder resistor R3 470 ohms, Bob's your uncle. Okay let's do it Okay, let's bring, bring our victim back. So, as I mentioned, we don't care about this. Ah, I'll be more civilized. I just wanted to cut it off, but we, I can be a little bit more civilized. You can open this. Um, this particular headset was purchased in dollar store for very cheap. Uh, those guys actually cheated me because they had those two buttons which look like volume up and volume down. I just thought they're gonna grab this headset for cheap and like for a dollar fifty or something and gonna just use it as my remote uh, thing and gonna be dedicated remote thing if I lost it I don't care turn out to be this is fake so now turn out to be I have to do some so actually if you can get some like headset like this with just uh, proper properly operational volume buttons you don't even have to do anything but if you don't have uh, such headset and you have to do some shooting just right now well Soldering iron, two minutes of work, and it's ready. So, let's. I'll, I'll show you how it can be done. Okay, you have to open this thing. Sometimes it's very easy to open, just like in this case. So yeah. Oh, here we are. Let's zoom in. So here we are. We open this little mini controller, which which you have usually on your headset, uh, headphones. So. We have here a microphone, obviously, we have a button. Uh, also, it should be some two, mm, two more buttons, but whatever. So, uh, this button is, is, I think it corresponds to button number R1, like button number one over this one, over here. So, the button which is not what we're interested in. We need button either two 
uh, uh, connected to R2 or button C connected to R3 because button um, A and button D are not connected, not gonna perform desired action. So in our scenario this button gonna be shortening this microphone and this ground. So if you press like this, this and this get shortened. Essentially microphone in this particular scenario will not be operational because it's gonna be shorted with this button. Those two um, uh, copper ones are left and right channel which are connected corresponding to this and this one. This one is ground which is uh, sh uh, blue and red one is microphone which is over here which is over here. So we don't care about those two. We're just gonna fold them right there and just completely cut them off later. So what we have to do, completely remove a microphone, remove this button and reorient it in different uh, position and resolder resistor resistor in a such a way that when button presses this resistor gonna be shorted in between microphone and the ground. Just let's do it.
So guys, as you saw, it is very easy to make yourself a wired remote control for your Android camera. Like, this is big advantage of Android that you can do it over just regular wire and using volume buttons of your um, headset, wired headset. So let's put it back together and that's it. So now you can do as many pictures as you want. So guys, I can play with this thing all day long. As long as you have 470 ohm resistor, nothing can stop you and you can make yourself a remote control for your Android camera. Well, wired remote control. But wired remote control, it's actually quite reliable. It's not gonna lose connection and you're not gonna lose any photos any precious moments. So yeah, I hope that was useful. Guys, stay tuned for another episode Inside Out Electronic. See you next time. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.